Thanks so much for joining us. A real pleasure. Wonderful. Thank you. That's uh, Christian Jolly, returned to Newport County. Another man of Newport joining us now because the first bit of Welsh football silverware has been won. It's gone to Carmarthen Town, who beat the Welsh Premier Giants, the New Saints, in Saturday's thrilling World <laughs> Cup final at Newtown. What a game. It was 3 all at the end of extra time and the old goal triumphed 3-1 on penalties. The Carmarthen manager is a former Welsh centre-back colleague of Kevin Ratcliffe. It's Mark Hazelwood. Evening, Mark. How are you, Rob? You OK? Very good. And you? I'm feeling good, Rob. Feeling good from the, uh, from my age, considering uh, you know what we went to on Saturday. But uh, it was all worthwhile in the end. Who said this, Mark? Wonderful, fantastic, brilliant, unbelievable. Well, I didn't know that I could spell so many adjectives, Rob, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. So I'm, I'm delighted with the, the fact that I could actually spell all them words. Hey, you beat the New Saints. How big an achievement is that for Carmarthen well, Town? No disrespect all... to your club. Yeah, in all seriousness, Rob, it, it, it's a it's a massive achievement for for the boys at our level. But if any considered, TNS would have had seven soft days working on their game plan, their system, their shape, their tactics. I had as the coach or manager with our players two hours on Wednesday evening. So when you put it into perspective, uh, it's a wonderful achievement. But never underestimate, you know, the strength of of, of a good organised team, the tactics, the game plan and a high level of fitness which our players have. And off the field, we have a fantastic team. Uh, myself, Kevin Morris, who's been a magnificent signing for the club as general manager, and Neil Smothers as coach. So, all in all, it's a well-run club. And, and just rewards for the army of volunteers, Rob, that run a club like Kamada, and it's fantastic for them. Hey, Ace, Kev Rats here. How are you, mate? Yeah, how are you doing? You OK? I'm OK. Well done, Saturday. Great yeah, results. Okay. Yeah, and, you, know, uh, you know what it's like. You can, uh, it's, it's always a little bit sweeter, Rats. You know that. Well, together obviously. For Wales when... When we had some big results against teams that expected to hammer you, it's always a little bit sweeter when you sort of get one against the against the head as such. And yeah. Especially when Big Mal Malcolm Allen before the game had predicted that TNS were going to walk it four one. So uh, I did remind <laughs> him of that, of course. No, no, you didn't, did you? <laughs> Just the one, so was it a few times? <laughs> well, I think I, I made sure all the boys knew, and they all give him a bit of stick. You know what Mal's like. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's always happens to Mally sometimes. <laughs> but uh, what's um, Mark, are you enjoying it? You know, you always seem it's to enjoy okay, your coaching yeah, and okay. everything, but, uh, you know, are you enjoying this time? Did you, you, you do anything different for the game? We do, uh, game to game, in, in all honesty, a, a club like Camarden with, with the resources that we have financially, as opposed to some of the other teams in the league, for us to compete against them on, on the field of play, we, we can't just go out and play how we play. So what I do... Almost every week, we have the opposition, a scouting report, and I change our system and tactics, uh, you know, in, in line with what I think the others are good at. So our, our first and foremost objective is to stop the others playing and see where that takes us. I thought Mickey Thomas was going to... Hey, 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 no, hey, are you there, hey, hey, Mickey, Mickey, how are you, D? sir? I was just, just kind of playing... Is the old Scallywags club uh, there, just, what? just what I was going to put you, I thought there's a couple of things, obviously. Did you practice penalties? That's the first one. Uh, well, no. in the two hours preparation that we had, <laughs> mate, we, we had to get the team selection, we had to treat injuries, we had to do tactics, we had to do the transition when you win the ball back, what do you do? Unfortunately, it got back to about 10 o'clock and I thought, practice penalties? Nah, they're going to hammer us, so we yeah. didn't bother. Oh. What, what about the trophy? Is it at home with you or what? Has someone else got hold of that? Well, I don't know. Do you want me to be honest with you? Yeah, come I on. think the steward of the club, who was out of his face uh, <laughs> after the match, took it with him and nobody's seen it since. <laughs> That's the truth. I had a call the day of I got the cup and I said, no, I haven't. I don't know where it went. They check his bed. Uh, yeah. he's sleeping the main with thing it. is, mate, you, you know what it's like, and rats there, you know, you've been in it long enough. It, it's not so much the trophy, it's not so much the, you know, what, what's the £10,000 prize money? It means an awful lot to a club like Kamada. And what I'm more pleased about is, it's in the record books. They can't take that away. That'll be there for 100 years. So, yeah. so we're delighted with that. But you, you're not having an open-top bus, bus tour, are you, Ace? Surely. Well, around Carmarthen. Not with this weather. <laughs> when was the last time you were in Carmarthen? Right? It's, it's, <laughs> I'm up in north, north of England at the moment, and I'm about two foot of snow in Manchester. So uh, I'm assuming it's just as bad in Carmarthen. But having said that, it's a good achievement for the club in all seriousness. Uh, you know, we had a terrible start to the season. But when, when they took over the club, the club was in dire straits. It'd been run down off on the field to play more than anything. And it was a big rebuilding job. So we started the season poorly. I have to be honest with you and say that there were times when early on the season, we got beat 7-1 at Preston Atten, We got beat 3-1 at Pala. And I thought to myself, I'll just have to resign. I think I've lost the plot. 
But uh, slowly but surely we've turned it around and we've got a big game on Saturday where uh, we can beat Newtown and hopefully finish in the top six. We're still in the Welsh Cup, so things are going OK, as they say. Well, that yeah. would be a heck of an achievement, Mark. You're getting the top six as well and a bit of trophy or uh, silverware already in the, in the cupboard. Well, it's, they're an ambitious club, Rob Carmarthen. You know the people who run the club there. Mm. You know Jeff Thomas and people like that. We've got a new chairman in here, Alexander, uh, who's very ambitious, very innovative. So... They haven't. One of the main things that that is a good recruitment tool for myself as the manager is that they haven't missed a player payment for 16 years. Now, with some of the happenings in the League of Wales over the last, you know, you got Avonlea, you got Neath, Lynnetley currently in financial difficulties. That's a, that's a big testimony to the people who run the football club, and I can't speak highly enough of them people. They're all volunteers. You know what it's like at that level, uh, but they, they're ambitious and. Uh, they're ambitious for success on the field of play and any little success that we bring is fantastic. But it's, it, like I say, it's just rewards for them and just rewards for the players. Um, briefly, Mark, I, I mean, the standard of the Welsh Premier, is it getting better in your experience? I'll tell you what the problem is, Rob. If you've if you got about three hours, you could do a, 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 pro, a programme on it. The standard of the player is very good. Having worked at many levels, uh, the standard of the player is very good, but people's perspective sometimes of the league is formed by the playing services that the players play on. That's the biggest problem in the league, is the playing services. It's very difficult to move the ball around and play what you would call, your, according to your coaching philosophy, pass, 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 on some of the pitches. If I, if I had a, a wish list, I would say that, along with licensing criteria, they should include some sort of specification on playing service. That's, That's what bothers me most, Mark. That, that bothers me, Mark, because John Lewis was saying that was in charge of Ebbovell, I don't know how many years ago. Well, what they do, Rob, uh, and, I, and I don't mean to be critical because these clubs are run by volunteers. You have to remember that. Mm. For instance, Carmarthen have a volunteer groundsman. So I'm not being critical of the personnel that operate within the football clubs. But what I am saying is that when the licensing criteria and you have UEFA inspectors come to your football club and they, they look around and they say, yeah, great drug testing room, great this, great that, great TV gantry, great interview room, great delegate room, they never look at the pitch. Yeah. And All right. So that's a pet aid of mine uh, in the fact that, you know, but what it does, and, and Rats and Nicky will tell you this, if you have a poor playing service, and the vast majority are poor, it then, because you have a core responsibility to win games, so you have to organise a team to play in a certain way to win games, and it also affects your recruitment policy within your football club, the type of player. Mark, you've made your point. We've got to go. Thanks ever so much. That's Mark Hazelwood. That's it for Monday Night Football. i oh, tell you what, what a busy programme. Don't forget Roland Lamar, Swansea City fans. He's on his way. Hugh Jenkins has confirmed that. Can we hear all the sports news tomorrow morning. Good morning, Wales from 6. Wales Six Nations squad at 11 tomorrow. Then on Wednesday night, it's Arsenal against Swansea. The FA Cup third round replay. Live Radio World Sport from 7. Saturday, a feast of football from 3. FM commentaries on Swansea, Wrexham, and Newport 5.20 Cardiff at Blackpool then we'll do it all again same time next week next it's Alan Thompson with the Radio Wales Evening Show we just about got there in time Weeknights this is the Evening Show with Alan Thompson on BBC Radio Wales it is indeed good job Rob as always good evening